Check play Valorant website. Oh shit! What's up? Is there some updates? Playvalorant.com is up. Uh oh. Riot Games presents a new competitive stage for you to shine from. Uh oh, dude, that's a dude. They're fucking. They kind of cocky. No cap. Wait, is this a new video? Oh, there's a new video. Oh shit! Hey, 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 let's go. Game. Woo! He's taking this seriously. Even if they. Uh, gonna get it. Yeah, so you, you can drop weapons. Dude, yeah, yeah he just bought it for someone else. Y'all notice? Like a library out here. Oh my So this is like the setup area. They're still in the setup phase. That's what the blue wall is, I think. Yeah. Custom crossers, confirmed. The garage. the garage, yeah. There's a slow walk. Yeah, he's slow walking right now. Oh, oh he sees it through the smoke. Holy shit. No, it's teammate making out of orb. That like helps you see. That's yeah, really yeah, good. yeah. That mini map is yeah, like. That's, 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 this needs to go to the last. I'm sure you can customize it. Yeah. A drone oh. outside of a lot, just to check. A drone. Welcome to my world. world. Damn. Damn. I've got dags. We can retake together. It does look slower than CS in terms of movement. So. There they are. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Sonic there. All right, let's do this. One in the oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go. All together, all together. He was right here. Oh, Sylvie popping off. Like this. Yeah. You're actually <laughs> What? Get that ball. Okay. Dude, this Ooh. is cool. Huh? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of information in here. I Damn. wanna look at the buy menu first. I think the buy menu is the most important thing for me. Like there are some things that you could buy multiple of. So it's like his curveball ability, you see how it has two dots. Yeah. And it's a full. So you there you, there's like some things that uh you need like multiple to buy of. That's cool. The five out of six points needed doesn't so you have money and then I guess points are different for the ultimate. Or maybe you buy points yeah. and you put them into your ability or something. So look, you have like the little on the left. It says like, let's buy. I have extra creds. Let's save. Just like, mm -hmm. so you don't have to type or talk. And then you can just yeah. drop someone by buying. When someone requests a gun, you buy for them. There's two snipers. There's one really cool. cheap one, which is the scout, I guess. And then an off. Yeah, I think maybe, I think you might gain ultimates just by actually fucking being like good at the game. You know what I mean? Like in game, if you, uh, huh? That's I think that might that that's my view that might be what points are like. Let's say you get kills or you play objectives, it leads to points and then you get your ultimate. But you definitely buy your abilities because it says right underneath. Yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. And you saw the one guy he was walking around with like his daggers, which is his ult, and he didn't use yeah. it. He was like holding it the entire time and saying like, "Let me push with daggers," because he probably just spent see... the money on it and wants to use yeah. it. Yeah. And I guess you can buy anywhere within like the uh, the setup zone. So there's light so shield, heavy shield. Four abilities. That's nuts. Fuck, I am excited. Holy shit. It says actually, it summer 2020 bro. is what it says. Yeah, yeah, see, so like, wait, wait, hold up. Wait, wait go to, um... 60 to 144 FPS on modern gaming rigs. Ooh, that go doesn't... Go 40 seconds. 40 seconds? His ultimate comes, like, li his ultimate goes online in the middle of the round. Oh, he's capturing an orb in on the map. So he went there for the orb to capture it. Like, so he gets an orb for an ability. Maybe... So there's map, th there's oh, things so, other so, than sites uh, that you want to control. Yeah. That's Do you think cool. it's universal for each character for their ultimates? I, I mean, yeah, I hope it's like just a map thing. Me... Oh yeah, summer 2020 at the top of the website. I see it right here. Yeah. Let me see if it pans to another character. If they have the same points. The door. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that actually is interesting. That's so, so every cool. Every character has those little dots, and so if you go capture those orbs, them. that's how you get ultimates. Uh, uh, can I get a gun? It's just instead of freeze time, I think so you can like start setting up, and you see how there's A, B, and C, and not A and B? Yeah, there's three points. Bro, it's catch me on nuts. hammer, recreating this map for wait, CS. Wait, did you see how fucking big that Hanzo zone is? You mean with the, with the yeah, wall dude. hack? Go to, yeah, yeah, go to no, fucking 148. That bitch lights up the entire site. <laughs> Oh, that is huge. But only when they're moving, I guess? Or maybe just I, at the start. So. This is weird. This smoke card looks a little messy. Yeah, but it's alpha right? Yeah, it's alpha Yeah, alpha footage. But you can see, like, it's their smoke pod, right? But they still clutched it, like, by playing in it. So it's not like it's OP. They want you to win on your skill and strategy alone. 
Creativity and, is your greatest weapon, puggers. Bro, I'm, I'm about to incorporate this gif right here into everything I have in my designs. That's so cool. This, the, on the website, the little, like the, the animated dagger character. <laughs> Ta tactical <laughs> shooter meets hypernatural powers. Shit. Everyone's got guns and a unique set of abilities. So how do you beat someone with the speed of wind? Use your own moves to outplay them and beat them to the shot. Valorant is a game of, for bold strategists who dare to make the unexpected play. Because if it wins, it works. Steel's not gonna like that shit. I love these graphics. I want to play right oh now, God, dude. Like yeah, you you can't. Wanna, you want to play some Project A Myth? I do, but I can't. A global spread of data centers aimed at less than 35 MS for players in major cities around the world. That's pretty nutty. A net code we've been That's obsessing over for years me. and a commitment to anti-cheat from day one. Play Valorant's first tweet. Are they tweet already? Probably about the fucking Summer site. 2020. How far away is that, dude? I don't know when summer oh. is. I'm not kidding. Summer? It's in like uh, May, June? It's not too far away. I don't, I don't know when May is. Two to three, three months? months? Holy fuck, bro. And we're probably getting beta before that. That's kind of nuts. I was expecting it to be like late 2020. Yeah, late May, early June. It looks pretty polished because I think the, the gameplay is. video is from earlier than current stage because this is probably when they had the players over like a long time ago. Uh, This is internal play tests from employees. Oh, you're right because we see Volcano in there. No, you're right. Yeah, and I said it at the first start of the trailer. <laughs> oh, that's it. So Valorant Alpha Unscripted internal developer playtest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I like the designer and the logo and shit. Yeah, it's cool. The the locomotion of the characters looks a little slow from a viewing perspective, but it's probably better when playing it. It's hard to tell when you actually like how it's actually going to be though. If you compare it to like Apex and CS, it just looks slower, but it's probably not a bad thing because you have abilities yeah. that makes you dash and shit. Each character has four fucking abilities, dude. It's pretty big. Yeah. And maybe they have passives too that we haven't seen. See, here's here's the deep economy part of the game that I think is gonna end up being really interesting. You have the ability to buy weapons and shit, right? But then you also have the ability to buy weapons. I wonder if they're gonna be characters that have like abilities that are worth buying instead of heavy investing into weapons in, in, in like rounds. Like in a force buy, three, three players have weapons and you make sure that the support characters don't. So they can just use abilities and play around that yeah. instead. Yeah, yeah exactly. Something like that. They could get really interesting with, with stuff like that. I, I wish I could get a better grasp on the economy, like how much you get for a one round or whatever. Oh, uh, you can. There's, if you look at the shop scene, I think min next round is like how much they're going to get no matter what, even if they lose round. But wait, actually, I don't know what the fuck. Because it goes down when he round. when he buys like something. You see, it goes from 7.4 to 7.3. I don't see that. Oh, okay, so he buys something for 100, I guess one of his abilities, and it's he has 5,500, and min next round is 7,400, and he buys something for 100. Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. so min next round is the guaranteed amount of money you're going to have next round, calculating what you already have. Okay. And then that probably kills give you more and shit. Oh, yeah, the ability definitely costed money as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it went down by 100. Yeah, and here's, so the thing on top of, the on top of this, you also have to think different heroes with different abilities are going to have different costs for their abilities. Uh, okay. 100 for curveball and that's like his second ability might be a different cost for somebody else's second ability so ability economy is going to be big i think it's going to be like pretty interesting to see how it like plays in with the uh, with this like normal setup that we have with like round based buying guns shit bro i'm so excited i just imagine being shorty though a 200 dollars shotgun pistol <clears throat> yikes that fucking shotgun clapped dude yeah the shotgun in the smoke yeah oh it didn't seem OP, like, from what we saw with the kill, like, through the smoke, the kill was pretty fast for whatever character was, like, at the start, collecting the orb. Uh, so it doesn't seem like shotguns are, like, OP. Yeah, I guess. I'm not sure. And they're shooting the walls. They're shooting the wooden pillars, which means you could probably wall bang it, too. I like the music. The music at the end was fire. Oh, the ultimate has two different firing modes for the sword bitch. On Instagram, we'll be revealing agents and their unique abilities from around the world. Yeah, let's just play some Project A. Yeah, we can't. Mendo? So this guy uses the, the AoE like smoke thing to cover up. Like he uses it like yeah, at one minute. That. Yeah, yeah, one minute 15. Yeah, so the one the one thing that's like confusing is that I feel like there's a lot of fucking like, there's a lot of like sight covering shit. But that's because you don't have smoke grenades smoke. or flashes. Yeah, okay. Oh, all the embargoes are lifted today. So there's going to be a lot more gameplay coming out today yes Hoggers. so you can see which characters are alive at the top but i wonder what the white 
bars mean? Oh, it's health. All eight Valorant heroes explained. We went to Los Angeles to play Valorant. You got to see them, see and play with all heroes. In this video, we explained what all their abilities are and how to use them. Dude, the hardest adjustment for me is definitely going to be movement speed. Well, there's no fog of war, but don't differentiate between friend or foe. So beware when you throw out that incendiary grenade as brimstone or viper snake bite, since they will harm your teammates as well. Oh, without further. There are abilities that harm your teammates as well as enemies okay i see i hear what you're saying there's abilities that just you get fucked either way the first character we want to take a look at is brimstone from the usa he takes advantage of skills that hey offer utility while he's a safe side oh, man. Look. Man. you could consider brimstone the best commander on the field his passive is sky smoke this ability creates a smoke screen that obscures vision you are able to I feel like the characters have so much swagger, the same but they move like Just they don't have any fucking swagger. Choose the locations <laughs> That's good though, no, for visual clarity. Like yeah. Incendiary is a grenade that creates a field of fire, which will damage both allies okay. and enemies. Stim Beacon is a buff which should be used on your own team, but your enemies will get the rapid fire buff if they're rapid close enough fire. as well. Placing the Stim Beacon at the right place will take some skill and tactical insight if you don't want to buff your enemies. Stim Brimstone's Beacon. ult is called okay. Orbital Strike and does exactly what you mm. expect it does. It Jibby launches ult. an Orbital Strike which will damage an area for a fixed <laughs> amount of time. This is a Jesus. great tool to lure out enemies of hiding or to attack a bomb site if you want is that to plant. Ultimate? If yeah. I have to compare this hey, ultimate okay, with sweet. any hey. other game, I would compare it to Gibraltar's <laughs> <Hey>. ultimate <laughs> from Apex Legends. Literally. Phoenix is our classic British chap, but don't let his charm deceive you. With his fire skills, he will Oi, lay ash to any three competition. Heads? His skill set resembles a mage, mage the most, with his fire dominating the map. He will be a fan favorite for sure. That's fucking sick. His passive is Curveball, which blinds enemies when you hit them with it. You can throw this ball around corners, so this is a perfect tool for initiation. So it's a, it's a flashbang. It's a curved flashbang. To use. When you hear someone walking as Phoenix, be sure to throw out your passive. The two skills you can buy are hot hands. So I guess a passive blaze. isn't actually a hot passive. A it's just your free that ability that you don't have to buy. Or I guess. A short yeah, delay. It is. The area yeah. that is on fire will heal Phoenix and to damage any enemy in it. This is really nice for Phoenix since your health won't automatically regain while out of combat. You can use hot hands to either heal yourself or damage an enemy or even both. Blaze is better described as a wall of fire. It will block vision and damages everything that passes through the wall. You are even able to bend the wall when you cast his skill. The, the gunplay looks might seem familiar to Apex Legends players that have played Revenant in the new season. Running I think it's back, the, as it just is called, the animation. Marks the location Phoenix is at at that think, I moment, think... and as long as the ability is active, Phoenix will be teleported Sorry. back to that spot if he gets killed. This is perfect to either. So there are grenades, area, like the way the abilities are. They're they're just essentially grenades. That's a Molotov. First into an enemy. Yeah, so I mean, that's a Russian it scout utility, and the hero we played the most yeah. during the preview yeah. event, since he felt awesome and really strong to play. His passive is Recon Bolt, which is an arrow that deploys a sonar that reveals enemies as things in that area. He was wrong. He I said there's like not going to be any grenades, grenades or anything. Basically. Since this is his passive and can be used freely, we use this to create Damn. an advantage early in the game by showing where enemies were going at the start of a round and later on mm -hmm. to scout the area that we wanted to plant a bomb. You are even able to bounce the arrow or shoot it over ledges to gain an advantage. The two skills Sova can buy are Owl Drone and Shock Bolt. Shock Bolt is almost the same as Recon Bolt, but instead of revealing enemies, it will damage them. The Owl Drone will fly through the map and reveal enemies by hitting them with darts. Because of this, Sova feels more like a support hero mm. that will be specialized in creating vision and intel for your team. We found this really strong yeah. in our playtest. Hunter's Fury is Sova's ultimate and will fire three spears, which look more like a huge laser beam across the entire map. These I wish spears they had fucking damage and that reveal I enemies wish, on yeah. much like, again, Hanzo from Overwatch with his dragon. It should be clear that Sova has a lot of utility in terms of providing vision, and we think he should be in every team. Vision is everything in a game like Valorant. The jumping feels Sova underwhelming. Sova is the vision tool for your team, jumping? while the Moroccan yeah. character Cypher yeah. will offer complete surveillance of the entire map. His passive is a spy cam, which will place a remote camera, which you might have seen in Rainbow Six Siege, for example. You will be able to mm. look through the camera and fire tracking darts out of it. Since this has such a short Holy cooldown, shit. Cypher can just wait at the back of I the map like... and scout for his team. 
Trapwire and Cyber Cage are his abilities, no, which he can buy and both function yeah. as traps. Tripwire is placed between two walls and triggers when enemies walk through it. This will reveal their location Damn. and they will be trapped for a short amount of time. Cyber Cage is a trap Sheesh. that Cypher can activate from a distance. It is even possible to throw out more of these traps lo just and looks activate so clean. them all at the same time. This trap will create cages which will slow enemies if they walk through them. Cypher's ultimate is Neural Theft. When you kill an enemy, you get the option to extract information out of the corpse. This will reveal the location of oh, all Lord. enemies which are That's still cool. alive. That's cool. Doesn't Rainbow Six have something like that? There for a short yeah, time, Rainbow but Six with ability. this kind of information, <laughs> you and your team should be able Rainbow to pick Six them all shit. off, or Yikes. at least make a strategic rotation. Jet is from Korea and is very strong in one-on-one -on -one combat. She will <laughs> undoubtedly be compared to the League of Legends character Akali. Her passive is Tailwind, which gives her a boost in the direction you're moving. Her two purchasable mm -hmm. abilities are Cloudburst and Updraft, with which you will quickly learn that Jet is an assassin to behold. Updraft will propel you upwards and make it possible to move over walls placed by other heroes, like you could already see in the reveal trailer from a couple months back. Cloudburst will create a cloud of fog that obscures vision, making Jet a deadly assassin. She is extremely quick, passive? can move vertically and obscure vision from her enemies. Is it their dash? We predict that she will be a popular I character so. when the game launches. Bladestorm is her ultimate ability, which <laughs> gives her Ooh. deadly throwing knives that will the kill flick. with a headshot. This was one of the abilities that you already saw in one of the videos as well, and is extremely cool that to dash, use. Dude, this is Normal my character. This is what I'm playing. That dash looks so much fun. Anyone with Bladestorm, all daggers will be restored. All the Wraith Man is going to be playing this character. For more enemies. <laughs> Imagine the place when pro players will land headshot after headshot with her ultimate ability. See, I mean, Sage will be your main source you for see, healing like, since this Chinese her firing hero that is the only AR? one that will be able yeah. to heal other players. It doesn't look too crazy. It doesn't look too crazy. It team, looks manageable Sage is your because there's a lot of a lot of her fucking hero is abilities to manage. Orb, which will I feel heal like allies or herself in a few seconds. Barrier Orb and Slow Orb are utility tools to change the map to your advantage. Oh, Barrier shit. Orb will create a solid wall which needs to be shot to pieces to disappear, as you can see in the clip. This is perfect to shut off an entrance or keep out the enemy when you are defending your planted bomb, for example, so or using your ultimate ability. Slow Orb is very annoying for anyone that is in there. This orb will cause a slowing field and even makes a noise if people walking through it, revealing their position. Sage's ultimate might be the strongest in all of Valorant. This ability will literally <laughs> revive a teammate with full HP. People are freaking out about this revive. We think yeah, this I, don't know, I, don't will define fights I don't think it's that good. Like, okay, so if the orbs to upgrade abilities matches. are a finite Omen resource based on round spawns, like, and they're in map, Valorant. right? Why would you really want to Omen invest that into a rest? It has some pretty crazy abilities. His passive oh, it's kills? is Dark Cover, that's which causes a stealthy ethereal orb that will obscure a small area. Paranoia so that's and you mean the orbs are, are able a, a to player omen body? The store. Shadow Walk makes it possible Not for sure. Omen to dematerialize or it's or it's and a map spawn and a kill. Short distance. Paranoia will send out a shadow no in a straight line. This the might not look like it will do much, but this ability will cause nearsightedness for enemies it hits. To get and your during our previous mm. session, it also revealed the enemy heroes on the minimap. Omen's abilities seem pretty normal this so far, but then there is his ultimate from the shadows. This ultimate Bowery. makes it possible for Omen to teleport anywhere he wants on the map. Spike right is the bomb. Anywhere on the map. Wait, you will teleport? show up as a shade with your current weapons that will teleport back if it gets killed. So, if you manage to teleport, huh? you will be bodiless for a short time. Viper, just like Brimstone, originates out of the USA. This hero will use poison to her hey advantage and uses her abilities to create small advantages regarding positional play. Her passive is Toxic Screen. This is a wall of gas that costs fuel to use. This wall will activate when fuel, you throw it across that's the cool. floor, which you can see in the images on your screen. Her two other abilities are Snakebite and Poison Cloud. Snakebite will fire a projectile that explodes and creates a pool of acid. Do not touch this pool if you want to keep your HP. The gas does a lot of damage. Poison Cloud is a gas mm -hmm. grenade that will emit poisonous smoke and will be usable as long as you have the fuel for it. Oh, it is wait. even possible to pick up the grenade and throw it again. Bro, do you read your HP in this bitch? With I guess. This ability, I saw her health going up and down in the gameplay video. Yeah, you remember that shit? Map. They were in the Viper smoke and it was hella going down. Ultimate, which creates a but it stopped at one, so it didn't actually kill him. Players will take damage over time. 
Viper herself is immune to this damage, so this is a perfect ability. So Viper's to immune to it. It's caustic. To either attack it, this character is gonna piss me the fuck off. Or to defend it, since <laughs> I can enemies will tell. die within the cloud of poison. <laughs> this might sound familiar for players that have tried caustic in Apex Legends. So maybe it's just Viper the poison really health that goes down and then it goes since back up. you can up. control where you want enemies to come from. If you have the fuel for it, at least. Yeah, that's there possible. you have it. All eight playable heroes of Valorant. This was just a short summary of all their abilities and what they can do. Well, it came out kind of nuts, though. How fun those they are to play. We had a ton of fun with Jet and Sova, but we are very curious which heroes spike your interest. Now you have heard what they can do. Let us know which hero you want to play the most in the comments mm. down below. We are very excited. Shit, I want to play it now. No. Please, man. Let me play. No. And we just. There's gotta be some other videos up right now, right? Surely. I feel like there has to be a Valorant subreddit. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's just okay. Okay. R slash Valorant. One twenty eight servers. One twenty eight tick servers. Pog. Gamers will survive. Oh, here's and here's a true. an article about the abilities. I feel like this will be easier for me to really like map out what the abilities do than listening to it and watching yeah. not relevant information on the video. I'm just Same. I'm just small brain. Phoenix. So there are grenades in this game, like actually that they're just abilities that you have to buy. Yeah, but they're not they're not technically not grenades, because they're, oh, they're not like CS grenades, so not everyone can buy them. I hope only certain only because it's per character. It's, it's the character's ability. The the thing that scares me the most is that they said sixty to one forty four FPS, and I'm scared that it's going to be a one forty four FPS cap. I don't think so. I doubt it. Hot hands, throw a fireball that explodes after a delay or upon impact with the ground. Fire zone damages you and heals you. Wait, what? She. What if I got a heal? Immediately dash a short distance in the direction you're moving. After a brief wind up, propel yourself upwards. Wait, so is the signature ability the passives? I think so. Cast oh, the curving flare that bursts into brilliant light. So it's the curved flashbang, it's the dash on jet. It's a toxic screen, mm -hmm. recon bolt. That's cool. So those are just free abilities. So that means one character is just going to have free flashbangs. So you're going to have to position that character and that player in a spot on the map where you can most like easily utilize it. Yeah, that's a uh, fucking Phoenix, right? <laughs> fucking curves, bro. <laughs> that's kind of nutty. I gotta change my bio to like. Okay, so it, honestly, it seems main. like this game is gonna be a lot more. What the fuck? A just... lot more ability based than it is like that people assumed. I think. Uh, I mean, I I definitely think so because there's no utility, right? So CS:GO is super mm -hmm. utility based, and in this game, the abilities yeah. just replace the utility. It's cool having a three site map. I wonder how that plays. I've I've always played CS maps that are based on three lanes. You know, you have like the left lane, mm -hmm. mid lane, right lane, but then there's a site in the, each of them. With five players? Mm -hmm. I guess. That's... I'm excited. Should be interesting. Figure 21 look That's like. That's gonna really change up rotations in the way that are done, right? Yeah, probably. Fuck, I wanna play so bad. Dude, I feel so you anxious. Cannot... Is that weird? You cannot play! Wow, I just got Ooh. sent a Project A beta key. Really? Just kidding, <laughs> oh, oh. Place the remote camera. After placing, reactivate to view the video feed. Left click while in camera to fire tracking dart. Recharges when picked up or killed. Wait. Use your map mm. to call in orbital deployment smoke screens that obscure vision. So it's a smoke that lands literally from like you click on the map where you want it to appear. So it's a smoke where? grenade, but instead oh, of having a lineup with a jump bind, you just click on your map. Mm. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, actually. And I guess poison, poison damage would lower your health and then recharge it because we saw that. Or yeah. there was a healing orb going on during like when that was happening because there's the signature healing ability, you know, like, fuck. Mm -hmm. I am excited. Same. I want to see more gameplay. This wasn't enough for me. Why don't we just watch the same video four times? Oh, true. I am so anxious. I'm watching watch the gameplay trailer one more time. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love the, like, the, the red, the colors of, like, the logo and stuff. I don't like it. It reminds me of Sentinels, the esports. Uh, That's <laughs> true. Sentinels going to have to rebrand again. <laughs> That's true, you're still going to have lineups with the other abilities, but you're not going to have lineups for smokes specifically. You're still going to have lineups with curved flashbangs and molotovs, like the equivalent. Okay, so what's interesting, right? If you look at 0 to 0 022, you see that he has every single ability unlocked, and he uses his Q to updraft him on top of B site. And it doesn't seem to be recharging. Like, he can't rebuy it. No. So you have a finite amount. So it's literally just like utility but you have more ways of approaching it than flashbang molotov and smoke and yeah and i don't know if i don't know if that's like the i don't think that's in buy zone anymore is it 
Well, I, so the question is, is buy zone the very start or is buy yeah. zone just anywhere within this, like the time limit? So you're yeah. thinking if he could use the ability and then repurchases, maybe that's possible. But also, look, look, if you look at like 38, you see they're in 5v5, no one's died. They're in the safe zone. They walk out and they pick up an orb, which then gives this guy his ult, which means that yeah, you probably get it from kills yeah. and map spawned orbs. I Holy started. shit, the new Twitter header <laughs> of the account. Bro, these characters are hot. Dude's got a boner. Oh yeah, oh it's yeah. I'm trying to see someone to get a kill and like it add to their all. Yeah, yeah, so it is kills. It's kills and orbs. Yeah, that makes sense. I really that like that there's a, there's high, like there's spots on the maps that are going to be contested for other reasons than planting the bomb. That's so cool. Uh -huh. Even if they're minor or well, maybe not that, that big. that doesn't really look too contested, right? It looks well, like yeah, but the thing is like maybe the players on that site didn't have the sniper to peek yeah. for it because he was in the open. Yeah, true. Or maybe they were going for some orbs on their side of the map. So it kind of helps with bigger maps. It helps like, okay, way. they're most likely grabbing this orb. Or if you mm -hmm. push a site and you see, oh, their orb hasn't been taken. So they probably haven't been here. So watch out for like an A, yeah. like a B, like across the map explosion. That's super cool. So high what the fuck is the impact? Hang on, let me check. Play Val Valorant rule 34. What's rule 34? So his health is affected by the debuff decay. That's what it says oh, when he's in the poison. Yeah, okay. the and when he leaves, back. he just starts healing back up. I wonder if there's gonna be some like insane team comps. I can see combos. There's already combos in CS, like smoking and mollying behind it on a push, forcing them out. This is so cool. So what's a combat stim? I think that's the dude that uh fucking gives your teammates a bunch of uh, damage. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, rapid fire. Whatever the fuck rapid fire is. But it also gives the enemy. It gives all players. The way the rounds play out just seem fun. Jesus. So this is like a what? Like a four? This is like a four lane map. Four and then three sites. Yeah, That's I see. Kinda, I see. It's crazy. it's a really cool map design. I really, fuck. Do I do I jump on and create a replica from what I see in CS? I'm gonna create a fucking replica. I did that in Overwatch. I created replicas <laughs> of the maps in 3D. What the fuck. Oh, that's interesting. The diffuse. So like, there's a line in the middle. What? So what if you get there and then you stop diffusing and you go back to it later? We'll save. Yeah. True, 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 true. Could be good. All right. Now we just wait and we see. Coming, coming for Counter Strike's neck, bro. You know the thing is like I see this game being really successful in like Asia, which is kind of what struggled true. with CS for a while. Bro, do you know how much money Crossfire makes? Have you seen Crossfire Myth? I've seen Crossfire. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they definitely have the ability to take over that and branch. Everyone on Twitter is going crazy. I can imagine. Holy shit. Uh, I no. want to commission like a header and shit. Goddamn. I feel like I, I like I, I like the trailer and shit. I feel like there wasn't enough though to get me like going going. You know? Nah, dude. Did you like, see that? But, but I'm dead it. ass going to replicate this map in CS. No cap. Great. Catch me on hammer all night. All right. Good night, Let's go.